Let me tell you a short story. An elderly man is lying in a hospital bed in pain, and a nurse enters the room with a friendly smile. The nurse asks, how are you today? And the elderly man replies, you don't care. Get out of here, stupid. Not really a polite response, right? But what if I tell you that the nurse isn't actually a human being, but a robot made to care for the elderly? Now perhaps you feel your perspective shifting, but why? My project seeks to explore what it takes for us to see a human, what it takes for us to see something as a someone. We appear to be equipped by evolution with a very strong sensitivity towards any sign of a human-like social being. In fact, these sensitivities are so strong that they can even be characterized as a kind of evolutionary button for sociality. Robots are designed to push these buttons. And when they do, it is exceedingly difficult for us not to feel that this something is actually a someone. Even robot engineers cannot help but feel emotionally pulled in towards their own socially responsive creations. And if people are told to inflict pain on a cute little robot toy dinosaur that screams and wriggles in protest, they cringe. They are highly emotionally affected and even distressed by this, even though some part of them knows that these displays of pain aren't real. But the point is that they feel real. My project seeks to integrate different lines of research into a combined theory about what it is that turns some, something into someone. It may allow us to create robots that do not generate the kind of resistance we saw in the elderly man, but do we want to? The creation of robots that push our social buttons raises a range of ethical questions. Because even if they can copy all the appearances of caring behavior, it doesn't change the fact that they don't care. But perhaps even more worryingly, if the displays of behavior are satisfactory and fulfilling, does it even matter to us that they're only an appearance? In any case, knowing how something pushes these buttons of ours gives us the power of choice. So now imagine yourself back in the hospital bed as an elderly person. What do you want? We don't want fake news, but do you want fake care? Thank you, Anna-Katrine.